Hey the guys, Class Skimmer here and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke. We are in the Ice Path on our way to Blackthorn City and we've kind of not got that much left to go. I did take the liberty to grind the team up just a little bit. We're at 38 now, which I think is good. I want to say Claire's uh, ace Pokemon's one like level 41, I think. I, I have forgotten at this point. I researched it and then did, did some grinding and um, yeah, ended up where I ended up. Also, sliding ice puzzle, which I definitely did wrong. Hmm. Okay, that, that was it. That was all there was to it. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this one's got a good item here, so, uh, almost definitely want to do this. What, this is normally, and it still is, Waterfall. So that's good. Waterfall is easily one of my favorite moves in Gen 4, if only because it's a physical water type attack, and Gyarados would normally be, you know, bad, except that now... And Gen 4, they split the physical and special for water, so you actually have physical moves for Gyarados to take advantage of. Oh, well, that's nice of him, I guess, to be like, um, whatever, you can have the waterfall TM, I don't care, I have shoes. Apparently. He he's totally fine with that. Whatever. Oh, hi, Lantern. Oh, yeah. That's maybe another reason why I didn't grind up to a higher level. Everything in the wild is so freaking weak! Level 21! What is a level 21 supposed to do for me? You know what it's going to do for me? Not level me up. That's what. After Maggie kills this thing, let's just watch the XP bar. Oh boy, a critical hit. That was not needed. So we got 486 experience points. Oh boy, and that bar actually went up a decent amount. More than I expected. Thing is, Lantern is, you know, not the most common Pokemon here. We still need 3,500 for a single level for a single Pokemon. And they all need as much or more. In fact, more. Everybody. For one level up. It takes so long why aren't the wild Pokemon in this game at least a comparable level to the trainers? In other Pokemon games, when you, you know, find a wild Pokemon, they're usually like about the level of what the trainers in the area have. And, um, you know, we've had gym leaders that were up in like their, uh, I don't know, what were they, all 35? as, like, their strongest Pokemon. And the game's just like, nah, it's cool. You don't need to get better. Yes. Yes, I do. So, we're just gonna hope that I get to a better grinding spot um, on the other side of Blackthorn. Because I know once I make it to Blackthorn City, I can go uh, south of it to, like, what, Route 46 or something? There's a route that I've already been on and failed to catch something, and then there's a route closer to Blackthorn that I have not been on. Also, I probably should have gone over the moves a little bit, because they have changed. Maggie, for example, no longer has Fire Punch, and now we have Lava Plume. This place, while being the Ice Path, actually seems to be full of water types. Also, Blast Burn's a thing. I think I had that before, but yeah. That's a very nice move for Maggie. Her faint attack is not that great, but at least it's not fire type, so it might do better against the water type. In any case, I'm so grossly over level compared to these wild Pokemon, but not even comparable to the next gym that I, uh, I don't care. These wilds are not going to be a problem. Just want to push these boulders into the holes. Why? I don't even remember. 
It's been too long since I've done the uh, boulder puzzles here in Ice Bath. I'm just doing it because it's there, and clearly if it's there in the video game, you should just do it. You know what, let's use Lava Plume just to see what the damage comparison was to Pursuit. Not very good. Ooh, but we got the burn, so, uh, it works out. Of course, uh, this War Turtle increases his defense. Pursuit's like Maggie's only physical attack. So, or not Pursuit, uh, Faint Attack. I keep calling it Pursuit. Very wrong of me. Very, very wrong. In any case, uh, we killed it. We killed lots of things and we don't die. That's how we do this Nuzlocke. Hmm. I get the distinct feeling that I should push this boulder into that hole on the south of the room and then that other boulder up into the northern hole. Not using the running shoes because I don't want to, uh, you know, sprint this thing into an unmovable position. Now it's a straight path. Just kick it in. Yeah, we should be fine. I think I can get both of these in their uh, respective spots. Hmm. I thought there's one more space to move up. Perspective is hard. It's, you know, less of a top-down and more of a weird... I don't know, two-thirds angle looking in. Diorama-ish style. Not as much as they get to be in the uh, other games of the Pokemon series, but kinda. Lava Plume is such a better move than Fire Punch. Like, ridiculously so. Not only is it not physical, um, it's 80 power instead of, I think, 75? Let's take a look at everyone else. We got Zen Headbutt for uh, the, the slow boy here, Hermes. Hermes, the slow one. Uh, it really hurts me that the speed stat has a nature up on it. <laughs> it's still going to be terrible. Majima didn't change. Sarah didn't change. Unless takedown's new. I, th I don't think it is. Um, Valor changed. Um, I went looking through my HMs and TMs. I was like, you know what? We don't need False Swipe anymore. I don't think I'm catching anything new, and if I do catch something new, see something I want to catch, I'll just deal. Maybe I'll t teach uh, False Swipe to someone else. But Valor, with his unbelievable attack stat, and now a good array of coverage moves between Strength for the Stab and Silk Scarf to make it even better, and then Close Combat for... F most things and Leaf Blade the F everything else. I'm gonna um, willingly unlearn Fly when we get to Blackthorn 4. I don't know, actually. Something else? I just feel gross having Fly on Valor here. Mostly because it shouldn't happen. And then Nana is um, I think about the same as before. We got Spatial Ren from one of the gyms, and I couldn't not teach it to her. Although her stats are really lagging behind now. Then again, my uh, perception of stats might be a little bit inflated because, um, you know, I have a Slicking with over 150 attack. Or Slacking, I don't know. However you want to pronounce it. I'm very not picky about these things. Alright, with all the boulders knocked down holes, um, I forget if we want to go down the ladder or hop down the hole ourselves, but we're just going to go to the ladder. This very threatening and terrifying wormhole has appeared. I'm not even going to use a fire attack on it. I don't want to. They're too good for wormholes now. Case in point. We're just going to move along. Um, yeah, this seems okay. 
Oh boy, another power bracer. I don't think I actually needed that. And another expert belt. Uh, belt? Not a bell. Yet yeah, a belt. Could be good. I, I could see using that for something. And there wasn't anything else anywhere else. Cool. So uh, we just need to get to that ladder again. And maybe pushing every one of the boulders down wasn't necessary, but I did it anyway. Oh no, it's Seeking! Uh, I'm not even going to say it. We're just going to kill it with faint attacks. And really hope that the impossible doesn't happen. Pretty sure that um, a horn drill wouldn't even be able to hit me because of the level difference. And it shouldn't know it at its current level anyway, but you know, if it did, we just aren't going to think about it anymore. That would be awful. That would be terrible. I'm a little bit too attached to everyone on the team and don't want any of them to die, and I don't want to teach any of them Rock Smash either. It's not worth it. That move is so abysmally bad. Hi, I-Bomb. Kill it! I feel like I should have something other than Confuse Ray. I'm not sure what that other something is, but... Hmm. That's really weird. Kind of concerning. Why didn't it die from the first faint attack? We are 15 levels higher. And it's Eye Bomb, not Ambit Bomb. Why did it survive? Oh look, another monkey. We'll stop taking everything so lightly, I guess, since that eye bomb survived. Maybe this Meditite would have too. Not that it mattered, it, it dead. It dead, but you know, maybe it could have been not dead. Maybe at some point, we'll see Pokemon that aren't amazing that I don't have and can actually catch. I'm not going to hold my breath on that. Like, how many times have I just been walking around and found a legendary after I've already caught something on the route? Too many. The answer to that is just too many. Especially Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh has showed up way more frequently than others. And the, uh, more, I think what might actually be more surprising is the legitimate appearances of uh, Entei and off-screen Raikou. It's just like, oh wow, I was just grinding and, and it actually showed up for real. Couldn't catch it. Didn't bother. I think I may have hurt one of them a little bit. I want to say there's another boulder-pushing puzzle above me. So, yay, we have that to look forward to. Oh, hey! All my attacks here are super effective. Oh, that's really bad for you, Execute. Like, awful for you. Too bad I won't ever get to be an Executor. Ooh, wow, we actually got a level up! Awesome. I'm, I, the only reason I'm not using repels is because I do still need more level ups. This will be fine. I don't feel like going through the effort of moving everything. Um, yeah, to get that, I'm definitely going to have to push some um, boulders down. And since it's random, it could be anything really good or not anything special at all. Also, I thought I was going to be coming to a different room, so maybe there is not actually anything to be gotten. Hmm. I'm aware that Zen Headbutt would have been super effective. I didn't feel it was necessary. Oh yeah, Hermes has Headbutt normal? So, uh, I guess all those towns I didn't catch anything in, I could in theory go back to and try and catch stuff in. 
that seems... Okay, then. Well, that's a little terrifying. There's... Th is just here. There's some of them just here in the wild. Oh, crap. I know the level difference and all, but... Uh, we've seen how strong mine is. And sure, I had it, like, holding a power bracer for half the game. But, um, yes, those things can be crazy powerful. If that was, you know, level 35-ish or so, I think being scared of it is extremely valid. And now we get this. Oh boy! Escape rope. When we're already really close to the end. Why are there so many of you? We're just gonna drown it. I can't, well, no, actually. I was about to say, I can't believe it's faster, and then I realized it's Hermes that's out. I can absolutely believe anything being faster than Hermes. Anything and everything and everyone. Just so very slow. Living up to its uh, species name entirely. Oh yeah, I think we're actually in, like, the last room here. So that's fine. I, I'm pretty sure I skipped something at some point, and I, I don't care. Because we're so close to the end. Sure, give her a push. Sorry, I was examining the puzzle and trying to figure out if there's actually a way to just directly get to that item. And now I feel dumb because I'm not seeing it. Like, th there's the easy way out. There should be a way to get to the item. Hmm. Unless I was supposed to use her in some way, and I've now screwed myself out of it. Hmm. And this is just kind of going in a loop, though. Well. Never mind, I figured out. Just as I was going to give up, I realized the solution was right in front of me. And now we can go. Unfortunately, that cherry berry is not very impressive. Um, sure am. Yep. The most hottest of shots. This is not the right house, but we're going to talk to these people anyway. Uh, I don't. And no, I wouldn't. Oh. Well, that's too bad. I don't think Slowbro is in the mood to work hard. It's a Slowbro. They, you know, don't really do that. Pretty sure this is the house of move people. Um, okay, how about not? Nope, that's not the right person. Um, is it overalls? I think it's overalls. Oh wow, no, this is the person that's going to teach moves, not what I'm looking for. Yeah, it takes heart scales. I, I don't even think I have very many, or possibly even any. The move deleter is who I was looking for, because we're going to get rid of Fly. And I know that sounds terrible, and I'll just have to deal with it. Maybe I'll just teach Fly to something in the box and use it only when I need to, you know, get from one place to another? I think that's what we'll do. The awful thing about this is it makes it so I can't simply fly from, um, you know, the middle of anywhere back to a town. But we'll deal. Dealing with that will just have to be something I do. 
and probably be more of a burden for me than for any of you. Um, now look at that. We have a Spiro. She can learn fly, and I'll just do that off screen. And I don't expect that I'm going to want to use fly to really do much of anything yet. But, you know, I have it as an option now. So, Route 45. Wait, no, that's not where the time map's going to be. It's part of the Poke Gear in this game. Route 45 is a different route than the one I came out on at the start of the game and then failed to catch anything. The Dark Cave is the same no matter where. Whether it's the Dark Cave entrance here, or here, or here. And we've already been in this one, so I'm counting that as the entire area. So, no Dark Cave Pokémon. We can only catch one more here on Route 45. Do I have the balls? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Um... Right, I forgot, I got one of these. I think we'll be okay. Let's just... find grass. There we go. I don't have to lock myself into going down the path. And see what we find. Oh! Well, first reaction, cool, Matang, that evolves into Metagross, it's super good. It's level 23. That means grinding here is still gonna suck. Quick ball, see if we can't get it. Just on that first throw. Stay in the ball, don't break out. Thank you. Hmm. So it's Metagross when it fully evolves. Hmm. Yeah, from Beldum to Matang to Metagross. Um, well, obviously we have to name it. So... This is really dumb, I'm just trying to think of what the opposite of Gross is. And the only thing I'm coming up with is Clean? Possibly appealing. Hmm. Meta bright, meta shine. Hmm. Or go the other definition of gross, like a gross of something. Like, you know, a measurement of weight, which is kind of what they're going with with the name anyway. Hmm. Hmm. And there's the connection, like, Gross Profit, Net Profit, Meta Net. <laughs> it doesn't fail. It's going to put Meta nat Natural, like natural, but natural. But it doesn't fit, and then <laughs> one letter off made it just look like meta neuter. Uh, nope, <laughs> nope, went on now that. Hmm. We'll just go with the other opposite of meta or of gross. Not, not a meta. Oh, me. Ah, oh, I just realized I missed the perfect opportunity to just call it meta game. Because, you know, I'm probably going to spend some time looking up uh, what to expect from the dragon type gym that isn't really going to be dragon type. So I can grind up a little bit and be more prepared for it. 
Namely, I'm just going to look up her levels again. I want to say it's 41. Which makes me a little bit apprehensive, but at the same time, I, I do not want to spend a whole bunch more time grinding off-screen or on-screen just to get ready for another gem that I take out in a single episode. Without any real problems. If it's level 41 and my team is, like, three levels lower at the most, I think we'll just go with it. We'll be okay. We can grind on uh, Victory Road before fighting the Elite Four. And that's that's it. That's where we're ending it for today. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke, regardless of what I do between episodes, we'll be going into the Blackthorn City Gym and taking on Claire and all of her not really dragon type trainers. We're just gonna stand outside here because the music here is so good. You only hear it for like two towns? Have a good day.